Mrs. Matt Ireland here and let's look at question one from the 2022 Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 1 Deferred Paper. This part A is worth 10 marks here and we are asking to basically multiply out these two complex numbers. A really nice starter question. So when you're multiplying out complex numbers, you're really treating them exactly like constants and variables that you would have used in algebra over the years. So I'm going to go and straight back to basics and I am going to multiply out this by breaking up the first bracket and multiplying it into the second. So you can see I have done out my brackets and my arrows there and I'm just multiplying them out bit by bit. It's important to take your time with these things. One of the misconceptions at higher level is that you need to know all the hard stuff when in fact you need to know how to do the simple stuff really, really well. <laughs> so make sure when you are finishing up doing any calculation in complex numbers that you write it in the correct form, the simplified complex number form, which is A plus BI or X plus YI, whatever way they want to say it. In this case, it was M plus NI. Moving on to part B, they are asking us to use De Moivre's theorem here to work out the value of 3 minus 3i all to the power of 6. De Moivre's theorem is meant to be a shortcut for you to be able to calculate a complex number to quite a high power instead of you multiplying it out by itself six times. In order to be able to do De Moivre's theorem, you need three things. You need an R, you need a theta, and you need to write the complex number in polar form. We put the power of 6 to the side for the moment while we deal with this. So you can see here finding R, I'm getting the modulus of that 3 minus 3i. And for theta, I'm getting tan inverse of the imaginary part over the real part. You can see here when I do that, I get a negative 45. Looking at my diagram here, I can see that when I actually calculate that properly, it ends up being 315 degrees. So once I have all that established, what I do then is convert 3 minus 3i into polar form. A quick little hack here for you using your log tables. In the algebra section, De Moivre's theorem is there, but that first little section there is the polar form. So if you find it hard to remember it, it is there for you. So there it is, and I sub in my r and my theta. Once we have all those things done and done correctly, it is now time to implement De Moivre's theorem to deal with that power of 6. You've noticed that I left the power of 6 out until now because it wasn't really relevant. So I now pop it in and I just follow the rule, which tells me to put the power of 6 on my R value and multiply that power of 6 into both of my theta values. Remember, when we are doing De Moivre's theorem and we implement the power of 6, it is just going to give us back a standard complex number answer. So just the standard form. So when we multiply this out, we get 5,832i. But to write it as a standard complex number, I put it down as 0 plus 5,832i. There is no reason why set notation can't pop up in several places in the Leaving Cert course. So when I am doing something like this, I'm taking time to understand exactly what each set and each part of my Venn diagram is containing. We always fill in the intersection part first and we're filling that in with 2.5 and cos 180 over i sine 180. You can see there that I'm working out cos 180 plus i sine 180 as minus 1. So they're in the middle because they are both real numbers and they both represent complex numbers where both parts are rational. Now I look to the left hand side there where I have my real numbers and root 17 is the only real number that can go in there. And on the right hand side where I have a complex number with both rational parts, I got my 3i and my 3 plus 2i in there. Because pi is not rational, we have to put it outside the circles but inside the universal set. If you found this helpful, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends. See you soon.